Hello and welcome to another episode in our van build series. Today we are going to be showing you our complete plumbing setup. It's really really simple and cheap and easy to do, you don't have to be a plumber to make this. Last week we talked about how we actually made our sink unit, but today we're just going to focus on the plumbing. This here is the under sink area and as you can see we've pretty much dedicated a whole cupboard towards it and the way it works for us if we chose to go with a foot pump and so the water comes out of this one here as you pump and then it goes into the pump and comes out around the back of these jerry cans and up into our handmade tap and then once it's come through the sink it comes out and into this one here and then we can just unclip this bungee cord and drag it out and release it at a dump site when we need to or where we can. So the water comes from our sink and goes through here into this fitting here which we found and is meant to be an overflow thing but it's perfect for us because it enables us to attach it to this tubing here which goes straight into our jerry can for wastewater and we just cut a hole just big enough so that it can fit nice and snugly and still remain pretty leak proof. Because our sink is an undermount sink, we had to build a platform for it to sit on. So that's what this is. We just made it out of 34 by 34 batten and screwed it into the unit itself. And it sits on there and then we've also sicker-flexed it into place to stop it from moving around. And we just put the foot pump onto a block so that it was level with the top of the battens rather than sunk into the floor. So we chose to go with the foot pump rather than the 12 volt um, pump just because it's a lot quieter. Um, because it's, it was really easy to fit and we can also gauge exactly how much water we're using and we thought we could save on water this way as well. And now I will demonstrate how much water comes out because we were, when we first started, we wish we knew how strong the water was going to come out, whether it was going to be worthwhile having a foot pump, so now we'll show you. You just need to pump it a couple of times to get the water going and as you can see, quite a lot of water comes out and it's quite quick to fill up a washing up bowl full of water so we're really pleased with it. So there are a few reasons why we decided to go for a foot pump rather than a 12 volt pump. The reasons are that this is a lot quieter than the 12 volt pump, it doesn't use any electricity and also we thought it'd be really easy for us to see exactly how much water we're using and it's a good way to save water as well. So this is our extremely cheap to make yet good looking and efficient tap and we made it out of copper pipe now before we bought these couplings we tried to bend the pipe and we had uh, the great idea of filling the pipe with water securing off either end and trying to bend it around the lamppost. Obviously this didn't really work. So we put um, some masking tape on the bottom so the water doesn't come out. You're going to use sand but we're going to try it with water because not everyone has sand. So water it is. No idea how much water this is going to hold. We've put duct tape over the top and the bottom so hopefully no water escapes. The reason we've done this and the reason why you should not, if you've got sand or water inside, is because you don't want it to kink. And if there's some solid sub substance, which usually is a pipe bender, but because we don't have one, why, this is why we're using water. Um, so hopefully the water doesn't come out and it'll bend and not kink. We're not going to see if it kinks though. <gasps> Did it? Let's have a look. When the water trick failed, we borrowed one of our neighbour's pipe springs and somehow we even messed that up. We managed to still kink it despite having the spring in there. So we gave up on the whole idea of bending it and we bought some of these couplings instead. And we actually really like how it looks, probably more so than just the bends. So once we made our sink we had to then attach it to the worktop so to do this we just drilled a hole into the corner here slotted the pipe in and rather than just having it sat like this we added this thing here we homemade it the thing is called a collar once the tap was finished and we had the collar in place we were going to secure it so that it would stay here but we found out that we actually quite like this swivel motion just so that we could use the countertop when we needed to 
have extra space. Even though it can swivel, it's still secured in place using this pipe clip, so it's not gonna wobble to and fro much more than that. A couple of reasons why we decided to make our own tap is because we wanted it to look completely unique and we also thought it would be a fun little project, which it was. And also because all of the taps that we saw online were those mixer taps and because we've got our foot pump, we could only have one temperature anyway, so we may as well make one just to have cold water. And if we do want any hot water, we can just boil the kettle and pour it into the bowl. I hope that you found this video useful and if you do have any questions at all about our plumbing setup, about the whale foot pump, please leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Our van tour video is coming very soon, we're really excited about it and we'll see you in the next one.